The first time since testing positive for COVID-19, President Trump holding a rally in the critical battleground state of Florida. His diagnosis putting a renewed spotlight on the virus in the closing weeks of this election as he looks to distance himself from a pandemic still raging in parts of the country, cases increasing in at least 32 states and the District of Columbia. And despite his positive test results some 10 days ago, President Trump is declaring himself completely cured, despite not providing medical evidence, telling Fox News. It looks like I'm immune for, I don't know, maybe a long time and maybe a short time. It could be a lifetime. Nobody really knows, but I'm immune. Twitter also slapping a warning label on the president's claim that he can't get the virus and can't give it, saying the tweet contained misleading and potentially harmful information. Meanwhile, the White House says there will be no changes to safety protocols at upcoming Trump rallies, despite the recent positive COVID cases in and around the White House and from people attending his campaign rallies. Uh, we will have the same policies that we've had in place. Those words follow a Saturday event at the White House featuring Trump supporters, many wearing masks, but packed in shoulder to shoulder with no social distancing. Trump's opponent Joe Biden pouncing on the president, calling his messaging on the virus careless. As a consequence, through his months of overwhelming lying, misleading, and irresponsible action on the part of Donald Trump. How many empty chairs were around your breakfast table this morning? And why? Because of negligence. The pandemic could be a deciding factor for voters. A new ABC News Washington Post poll shows a majority of registered voters distrust what President Trump says about the virus, and two-thirds say he failed to take appropriate precautions. And while President Trump continues to opt for big rallies, including the one in Florida tonight, Joe Biden is campaigning through crucial battleground states in much smaller settings. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, Washington.